Sean Phillips from Choose Your AI. And today's video, we're going to look at some video creation editing software called InVideo. And how you can use that to create video adverts for your Black Friday marketing. I will show you how to use InVideo for your Black Friday marketing. And please watch till the, till the end for a special Black Friday deal to save you 40% off InVideo, should you choose to give it a go. So okay, what is InVideo? Well, it's an online platform that allows you to create your own videos, as well as edit them using a range of templates and stock video. It's going to be perfect for businesses that want to promote their products through video and video advertising, particularly on Black Friday. So let's get on with this video and show you how you can create your own video adverts on InVideo for your Black Friday marketing or any other time of the year. Okay, so here we are on the InVideo homepage. As you can see, you know, in this just in the animation they've got here, you can see that you can create some great videos just by dragging and dropping. They've got multiple customizable templates. There's loads of, a lot of stock video and images, and music tracks you can choose from, as well as editing features and animations as well. So we're going to be looking at some of those things. Just before we do, just so you know what you're getting yourself into, we're just going to have a quick look at the pricing. Um, because one of the great things is you can actually get started for free. Uh, so you can jump in, get started for free. There's a limit on the video duration. There's a video, the limit on the number of templates, but you do get automated text to speech. You don't get in the mobile app um, and you don't get any, any um, iStock in media and you don't get any um, credits for removing backgrounds. Whereas if you go into the business, then you do get the mobile app, you do get some credits. And then again, you're going to get even more when you go to the unlimited as well as you'd expect. You've got unlimited HD exports but you don't have HD exports on the, the free version. And so I think it's now time for us to just jump in and, and give this a go. That's what you've come here for. So let's show you what it is that you're looking to do. So I'm just going to log in. And here we are on the home page. As you can see up here, it's actually telling me that I've got the mobile. So I've actually got the script. I've got, I'm on the business description. So All right, I'm going to just click on the NVIDIA icon just to take us into the dashboard. There we go. Okay, so we've got a few different options we can do here. We can create a video from a template. We can do a text to video, which is where we can actually provide our own text. We could be maybe a line for each video. We could create our own uh, video from that, which will also choose some stock video to add for that. And we can we can create that's a pretty cool feature. We can also just start with stock media. So we could just choose a video that we want to start with and then start adding text and other elements to that as well. Or we could just start from a blank slate and with the editor and just take it all from there. So the easiest thing by far is going to be to just chuck, to just use one of the templates that's given us everything that you're going to want to do. And that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to do to, to create our Black Friday advert. And here we go. So I'll just click on templates and it's going to give us some suggested templates. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it gets the suggested templates from. Um, but <laughs> but you can obviously choose so you've got your own options here you can choose by industry by type um, yeah and we can choose obviously the workflows here we're, we're sticking to templates so what we're going to do let's go I'm going to, I'm going to say to e-commerce and I'm going to look at that and go okay that looks, that looks good I'm going to maybe click on sales and offers and um, here you go so actually we've got some Black Friday adverts we can already make a start with actually i quite like this one looks pretty good loading massive discounts i think that and obviously one of the things to bear in mind is going to be what format do you want so you've got the square format which you could be using for something like facebook or predominantly probably instagram but then you've also got this got the the vertical format the portrait format which you could use on instagram reels which you could use on tiktok um, so that's another option as well or a, Facebook story and these all um, and then you've got you know, the standard wide 16 by 9 which you could be using on YouTube and on Facebook so that's that's going to be one of your things to think about first of all is going to be what are you actually you know what's the platform you're initially want promoting on um, we're going to be saying we're going to do this on an Instagram reel I think so we're going to actually set up this um, yeah we're going to use one of these format so I'm going to click on this one okay so there is some music going on so you as you can see straight away it's already chosen some music and um, and um, yeah and there we go and so it's really quick it's only five seconds 
but um, and it's pretty good. We can actually put some links and things in there. So and actually we can, if we wanted to change the options on the right hand side, we could go to landscape. Now, not all of them are going to work this way. So not all of them are going to allow you to do that. So it is generally better to choose the format you want first of all. And, it's, and you can actually, if we just jumped back quickly to the searches, you can choose that here as well. So that will eliminate the ones that don't actually are not going to support that. So we're going to just click on that. And um, we're going to stick with our portrait. I'm going to say, yeah, I want to use that template. I've selected the one I want, the format, and I'm going to use that. Okay, it's going to just take a few seconds just to load that up for us. Do as much of this as I can in real time just to give you an idea of how quickly you can actually do this. Okay, all right, so there we go. So we can give us our brand name. So I'm just going to, so you can click on each element. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to put in choose your AI. Okay, I think I might like those. This this Black Friday, and then I'm gonna then I can just put in my website www.chooseyourai.com. Now, one thing you might have noticed that the logo is is already there, um, so that's because you can actually preload it. So inside of um, inside of the actual settings. And you can actually brand presets. You can actually go in, and we'll look at that. Um, if you're interested, I'll just do that quickly at the end of the video. But you can go and you can set your brand presets. So you can set some of your default coloring and your um, logo, which is why that's already there. If I wanted to change it, then I can just click on that, and then I can uh, put in a different logo. I can upload a new logo if I wanted to use a different logo. Um, now I can adjust the colors. Now um, so I think be quite good, I think. Actually, no, this is, uh, I want to adjust this. So, yeah, I want to adjust the fill color on that because I want to actually make it so it's actually more like my um, my logo. So what I'm going to do is I've got the, I've made a note of my hex code for my colors. So this hex code, basically, uh, if you know the hex code of your colors, it's it's actually really useful because you most software will allow you to go and put in the hex code or it'll allow you to choose the values some other way, but generally hex code is pretty universal. So I'm going to paste that in there and you can see now I've now got a green bar. So that's a bit more in keeping with my, with my logo. Yeah. For those eagle eyes of you, you might have noticed when I was selecting the color that actually, because I've selected my brand colors in the brand presets, as I mentioned earlier, they're already there. So actually I could have just clicked on them. If I want to make it blue and I could also make it blue. I kind of quite like the green, so I'm going to stick with the green. Plenty of other options you can do. I'm not going to go through every single thing. We could have example, I wanted to change the video. So we could just actually do a search. Just click on video. I'm going to do a search, go to shopping. And this is going to give us loads of other options. So if we wanted to change it to one thing to bear in mind is going to be um, yeah, I mean, where it says iStock, that's only going to appear if you've got the, um, if you subscribed, otherwise you just get the premium options. So, but if I just, yeah, I'm going to click select this one. Because actually, what's great about this one is that if you notice that our video at the moment is five, is just, is it just over? Yeah, it's just over five seconds. So actually, if we choose another five second one, we wouldn't have to adjust it. We could create a longer one and then we could either extend these elements or we can reduce them. I think let's just actually keep, let's just actually go and chuck it in there. Now it's going to give us the option so we can trim it. We can say whether we want it longer or shorter. We're just going to leave it as, a, as we're going to actually put trim video. I'm going to click this one here. It's a fit scene. Let's make it nice and easy for us. And then we're going to just click add. And then as you notice at the moment, it's not the right size. Now, what I suggest you do is, first of all, just drag it to the left and the right. It's like that's not, um, why isn't it doing that? And then, then go up to the top 
and then bring it down to the bottom. Now what you can do is you can drag it left or right depending upon where you want it to be. So if I put it there, for example, then I just just go back and run it from the start. I'm just going to drag that mark over to there. Now, in actual fact, I think I actually preferred the original one. So the top left here, on top right, sorry, you can just click undo until we've got back to where we were. But as you can see, so you can easily just change that. You can you can change the video. I mean, this is quite a good one because there's lots of people and inside that smaller space. So I think that works better. Um, so if you did find one that you wanted to just you know, make sure that whatever you want is going to be fit nicely inside of the space. The other thing we can do is if we select click on music, we can actually select some audio. So um, I think it doesn't seem to give you the option to do, which is a bit of a shame. It doesn't give you the option to actually preview the preview the um, tracks. So we're just going to click and we're just going to add that in for now. And I imagine if you're going to play both of them. Yeah, we've got we've got two video two um, audios going on. So we're going to click on the first one. We're just going to we're going to right click on that and we're going to mute it, which means we won't hear that one. We'll just hear the one the other one. So let's have a listen now. I quite like that. It's a bit more it's a bit uh, it's more bassy, but actually I think I quite like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to just on the other audio and delete that so we don't need to worry about that now if we just um, grab the indicator here and just drag that over to the start you notice the the bar and the logo I don't mind the logo being there but the bar um, is starting a little bit sooner than everything else so what I'm thinking is now one of the things you can do you can use this indicator on the right hand side here to make the editing area bigger or smaller Now the major the advantage of making it bigger is the bigger it is, the smaller changes you can make. So if I just now, if I click on any of these, it'll take me to the area. So I've got loading bar. I just want the loading bar. I'm just going to click on the edge here, and when I drag it. You see, I've got that red indicator, which shows me I can just make, I can just edit that. I'm just going to make it just so it comes in a fraction later, and then we're just going to play that now. There you go. Okay, and actually, I think I'm going to change that text to make it. I think it was all, it was all in capitals before, so let's just make that like that as well. Just it. Okay, all right. So that's this. Um, there's those other things we could do. We could add the logo. I could move the logo around, and I could make it <clears throat> bigger or smaller. Um, if I wanted to. So I could just sort of go, actually, maybe I could just, so you can just click on these various items and you can, you can move them around however you like. And as you see, there's an also, there's these indicators that are showing you whether they're lined up with other aspects in the video, which is really helpful. These guidelines, so I'm just making sure that's centered, centered there. There's a quite an array of other things you could do. You can upload your images. Um, if you've got things like, for example, if you've got a logo that doesn't have a transparent background, maybe it's got a white or a different color, then you could use the uh, background removal to remove that. There's other there's stickers you can apply, there's overlays, there's sort of shapes we can do. And there's, there's a variety of other things we can do. We can change colors of text. If I was gonna change the color of the text, I wouldn't so much, I wouldn't go for a darker color because this is a fairly, this fairly sort of dark areas on this video. Um, if it was a lighter video or a lighter image, then you could go for some darker text, but I think that all looks, um, all looks pretty good. So we're just going to finish that off by exporting the video. And we're going to do that. Now, if you're using the free version, you're only going to have 720p. We're going to do that as 1080p. I'm going to click export. And there we go. That's just finishing that off. And okay. Now it's the rendering, it's going to take a little bit of time to do that. While it's doing that, um, yeah, I 
and close that down actually while it's um, while it's finishing off I just briefly as I said I would do I'll go back into the I'm going to go back into that project I'll go to the dashboard and just go to brand assets I can just briefly show you but yeah you go I've got my brand name in there I've got the logo in there I've got the colors and I've got my Facebook Instagram I've got all my different handles in there as well and you can do default end clips as well so there's options in there you can set up okay as promised here is going to be the details of the deal that I mentioned you're going to be able to get 40% off for Black Friday now this is available to the 1st of December 2022 so you just use the link below and I'm just going to give you the code in uh, a few seconds to allow, to allow you to get that discount even if you you've missed that time then still use the link and there'll still there's still often going to be offers on there so if you want to get the offers then always use the link in the video description that also has to help support the channel so what I'm going to do is say yes go to that link in the video description and then what you need to do is just go to that link and type in cyber cyber m40 okay so you just put in cyber m40 when you get the option for entering in a code and as long as that's uh, before the end of the 1st of December 2022 you're going to get 40% off in video and be able to create um, some of the videos just as we did today hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and comment let me know your thoughts it really helps to support the channel to have that engagement and encouragement to do further videos take care and hope to see you soon